The Undercountry Music News is an excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, which features music from great country artists you won't hear on mainstream radio, as well as a roundup of the most interesting country music news of the week without all the fluff. This program you're listening to right now contains only the news portion of the show. To listen and subscribe to the full weekly episode containing the music and interviews, please visit undercountrymusic.com or simply subscribe to the Undercountry Music Podcast on iTunes. Let's get into it. Whatever. But um, I got more good stuff for you than that. More Well, maybe not as good as that, but it's pretty darn good because it's time for the... Undercountry Music News, 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 News! Yeah, baby! The Undercountry Music News, oh, by the way, hello all, all you people on the talk show formats out there. Just so you know, um, for those of you already listening, um, the Undercountry Music News is lifted out of the larger broadcast podcast internet frog cast and uh, it's because it can go out as a talk show because it doesn't have the music and because there's some places that get funny about having music the uh, undercountry music news gets to go out and be on like Spreaker and then also YouTube and I don't have to worry about it uh, getting flagged for copyright and I use that as a siren song lure to get people over to the larger hour long show Which is the real reason the Undercountry Music News exists in its individual broken out format. Anyway, hello to all you people listening on the talk show format. You want to hear the whole show with all the music and all that and a whole lot more ranting and raving? Get on over to undercountrymusic.com and uh, and check out the shows and subscribe on iTunes to like the whole show. All right. Anyway, what is the Undercountry Music News The Undercountry Music News is an experiment that I do every single week where I go onto the front page of Google, I type in the search term Country Music News, and whatever websites come up on the front page of Google, I dig into them, I find the one or two actual hard-hitting news stories, or or the stuff that's actually interesting, because most most of what they got is just fluff garbage BS. And I bring you the interesting news, the stuff that you can really sink your toenails into. You know, kind of like when you step on warm dog poop and your toes kind of curl around it and you're like, oh, warm, squishy, and you don't really, re- before you really realize what you just stepped in in your bare feet. Well, that's what the undercountry music news is. It's the warm dog poop in the, your yard of undercountry, of country music news. There you go. All right, let's get into it. Over at... Oh, oh, there's one other thing. If I go onto a website and it's got no country music news, I award that one website and one only. Well, sometimes I've done two when they've really been horrible, but if there's just a, a website that's not doing its job, not reporting any country music news, I award them with the undercountry music news wet belch of the week. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be a juicy one. I had I had a uh, Chinese buffet for dinner tonight. It was only thirteen bucks. It was a suka. I had um, I had like ribs and uh, crawfish, a uh, few pieces of sushi, and I had a salad at the end uh, just to make myself feel better about it. I don't feel better about it. Anyway, let's get into it. Over at CMT, Randy Hauser and his wife are divorcing. Now, I, I don't really like to elaborate on stories like this because that's when you're getting into people's personal lives and you know that's like personal dirty laundry and but it was really the only thing halfway resembling news over at CMT this week. If that interests you, go dumpster dive over at cmt.com. Read that for yourself. I'm not going to bring you any more details on that one. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to do personal stuff. Moving right along, countryweekly.com is reporting that Craig Morgan is recovering from soul soldier shoulder surgery and has had to cancel shows after receiving six screws into his shoulder 
to help repair damage he has incurred from years of dirt bike racing. Now, this was intended to be just a minor surgery, which would not require him canceling any shows. But once the doctors got in there, they realized the damage was much more extensive than they originally thought. And a much more elaborate surgery had to take place without really any warning. They were kind of already in there. But um, Hey, uh, Craig Morgan, you freaking dipstick. How about you schedule your medical procedures for times when you aren't scheduled to play any shows? Dumbass. I'm going to call Craig Morgan our dumbass of the week. Because all the, I mean, come on. You got all these people holding tickets to come see you play. They've set aside this time on their calendar don't don't go in for even a minor surgery during that. Don't do anything that might, you know, even remotely have a chance uh, of screwing over your fans. I mean, it's stupid to have gone in for that, even a minor surgery during that time. Wait until you got some time off to, to you're going like, to go to the Bahamas or something. Someplace when you can go and, you know, recoup on your own time. Don't drag your fans across that. That's that's BS if it's a non-emergency. Come on. All right. Moving right along over to GAC. Great American country. One pan Nan Kelly is back with a recipe for strawberries and red wine dessert sauce. Yum. Oh. Oh, and there's another recipe over there. Crystal Keith. She's got her recipe for strawberry spinach salad. Strawberry versus strawberry. They're going to fight it out in the strawberry patch. Cat fight in the strawberry patch. Come on, y'all. My money's on Crystal Keith. All right, over at Taste of Country, Sheely Wright has has lost her mother to cancer. We're really sorry to hear that. Um, really, really sorry to hear that. Uh, Sheely, our, my heart goes out to you. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, well, what do you say to that? I don't know. I'm just going to move right along and my condolences, thoughts, and prayers go out to Sheely Wright. I'm sure a lot of other people's do as well. And Miranda Lambert's exhibit at the Country Music Hall of Fame has opened. And it's mostly dresses, boots, corsets, letters, and crap like that if if that's thrilling to you buy a ticket to nashville and go pay a whole bunch of money to walk through the country music hall of fame and you can go look at dresses and crap okay over at the boot.com That's right, they're the belch.com. The Undercountry Music News Wet Belch of the Week.com. I gave them multiple wet belches on this one. Cause they got bada bing a boom bum nothing, honey. Woo! Over at NashvilleGab.com. Sorry, Nashville Gab does not get the wet belch this week. It's just um that was just a residual left over from the uh, boot belt, the boot belchathon. All right, NashvilleGab.com. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert are reportedly opening a bed and breakfast in their hometown of Toshamingo, Oklahoma. The bed and breakfast will reportedly be called Blarandas. Over at Country Standard Time. Hunter Hayes has successfully completed his bid for obtaining the world record for playing the most concerts in separate cities in a 24-hour period. The fella played 10 shows in 10 different cities. Like that Ted Nugent album, Intensities in 10 Cities. Does anyone remember that? Ain't nobody got my... Got the same craving for the nudes that I do, do they? All right. Okay. I understand and I forgive you. But anyway, on Friday, May 9th, 
He pulled it off. And then he went and played shows. <laughs> I kill me. A Friday, May 9th through Saturday, May 10th, the, the guy went and did 10 shows in 10 different cities. And uh, I'm guessing some of these were like one or two song shows. I haven't got any verification on that, but I'm, I'm highly doubting he did like full on concerts. I think he just popped in places and played a song, maybe two, and then blasted on out of there. But hey, if you're going to be somebody's record breaker. And was anybody else even holding that that record already? It's pretty easy to break a record nobody's currently holding. But I think the Guinness Book of World Records, they come out and they make sure that you're really doing something spectacular, though. At least that's, uh, that's what I've heard when people go and do stuff just to have the world record, even though it's not already in the book. They come out and they make sure that it's, you know, that what you've done is impressive. You, you know, you're not just, you know, screwing off. Anyway, over at the 615, Dolly Parton goes on Jimmy Fallon. That, well, the Tonight Show. She doesn't go on to Jimmy Fallon. Although I might pay to see that. And she makes him wear her wig. And that's not a bit, that's not a joke. She actually makes the, makes him wear her wig. There's video of it. Go over to the 615, well, it's not the 615.com. It's a subdivision of billboard.com. And I don't really know how to get there. What, what, the way I get there, I look for the search term country music news. And it's usually floating around the bottom there. Like a, like a submerged squishy dog turd which brings us full circle yes because this has been your undercut music news 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 well how'd you like that hey talk show formats if you're listening to me you go over to uh, my Spreaker page at undercountrymusicnews.com, undercountrymusicnews.com. Give me a follow over at Spreaker because if I can get 100 followers over at Spreaker, I have a real good shot at getting the Undercountry Music News on the iHeartRadio, and that'd be awesome if you could help me accomplish that. Anyway... Bye-bye talk show format, people. We're going to get into the larger show. And if you want to hear the larger show and you're only hearing the news portion of the show, get on over to undercountrymusic.com. I almost said news.com. Undercountrymusic.com, and you can hear the whole show or subscribe to it on iTunes. All right? Uh, This show's going downhill fast. In flames. I am screaming, holding the steering wheel. But the good news is that my car has a radio in it. A radio that picks up undercountry music. And we got another song for you. It's courtesy of CDX Distribution and IGO Records. Here is Casey Jones with Whale and Pain. And they're going to duet together on a song called Going Downhill. You are plummeting to your death. On episode 118, on Undercountry Music, I'm Neil Smith. Thank you for listening to the Undercountry Music News. The Undercountry Music News is just a small excerpt of the weekly, hour-long internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, where I, Neil Smith, not only round up the week in country music news and put my own spin on it, But I also play music and have great interviews by lesser-known original country acts, the kind that you won't hear on mainstream country radio. If you're thirsting for that, get on over to undercountrymusic.com where you can listen and subscribe. You can also subscribe via iTunes to Undercountry Music. Thanks so much. Stay under, stay country.